All right, so here we have question number six, part B, from summer 2009, paper four. Okay, Amira takes nine hours and 25 minutes to complete a long walk. And we are told to show that the time of nine hours and 25 minutes can be written as 113 over 12. Okay, hours. All right, so we have nine hours and 25 minutes. Okay, what we want to do is show the world is messed up. Okay. What we want to do is show that the time of 9 hours and 25 minutes can be written as 113 over 12 hours. So let's change this all into hours first. Okay, let's change this all into hours first. So you have 9 hours and 25 minutes. Now, if I want to change 25 minutes into hours, okay, what I need to do is I need to divide by how many minutes in an hour? Because we're going from smaller to larger, so we must divide. And how many minutes do we have in one hour? We have 60 minutes. So this is like 25 divided by 60 hours. Okay. Now 25 over 60 gives you 5 over 12. Okay, so that's 5 over 12 hours. So we have 9 hours plus 5 over 12 hours. Okay, which is 9 and 5 twelfths of an hour. Which you can just, 12 times 9 is 108. Okay, if you change it into an improper fraction. 12 times 9 is 108, so you have 108 plus 5 over 12, which gives you 113 over 12. Okay? Simple as that. You got that? Okay. She walks 3y plus 2 kilometers at 3 kilometers per hour, and then a further y plus 4 kilometers at 2 kilometers per hour, show that the total time that she takes is given by 9y plus 16 over 6 hours. Okay, so for this question, Okay, so now, we know that the distance that she walks, the distance that she walks is 3y plus 2 hours. That's for the first, this is like the first part of the day. There's two parts of the day. And the speed that she's walking at is three kilometers per hour. Okay? This is in kilometers. This is kilometers per hour, compatible units. And the second part of the journey, she's walking a distance of y plus four kilometers. And her speed is two kilometers per hour. So they gave us some information here about the speed and the time, and they're asking us to find the, sorry, the speed and the distance, and they're asking us to find the time. So how do we link speed, distance, and time? Well, we should know, okay, from what we studied in maths, and also those of you who do physics, that speed is equal to distance over time. Therefore, time is equal to distance over speed, okay? So the time for the first part of the journey, okay, first part of the journey is a distance over the speed, which is 3y plus 2 divided by 3. And the distance for the second part of the journey is going to be um, y plus 4 divided by 2. So what do we need to do? We need to add these two together. So we have 3y plus 2 divided by 3 plus y plus 4 divided by 2. Now, we add these two algebraic fractions together just as we would add together two normal fractions. We must make the denominators the same. So we're going to make this. You can see 6 is the LCM of 3 and 2. So I'm going to express this as a fraction over 6. I'm going to express this also as a fraction over 6. Okay. What do I have to do to make this into 6? I've got to multiply it by 2. 
So I've got to also multiply the numerator by 2. Okay, so I have 2 times 2 times 3y plus 2. And here I have to multiply this denominator by 3 to make it into a 6. So I've got to multiply the numerator also by 3. Okay, so I end up with having, um, it's going to give me 3y, well, I'll put it like this, 3y plus 4. Now I've got to multiply that out. So I'm going to have 6y plus 4, and I'm going to have plus 3y plus 12. And that's all going to be over 6. Whoops. So you've got 6y plus 3y, which is 9y plus 16 over 6. You understand? Yes? Okay. Now, part 3 is telling us to solve this equation. Okay? Now, to solve this equation, all right, this is a pretty simple algebraic uh, fraction. You have to just basically cross multiply. You multiply both sides by 6 and then by 12. Okay? Or you could just say, let's multiply both sides by 12. You just do it that way. That's actually easier. If you multiply by 12 both sides, you'll get rid of the fraction y because 12 is the LCM of both of these. Okay, so if I multiply both sides by 12, this will make life easier for us. Over 6. Equals 113 over 12 okay, times 12. All right, so I've multiplied both sides by 12, so the 12 cancels with the 6, leaving with 2. And the 12 cancels with the 12, leaving you with just 1 times 113. So you can say 2 times 9y is 18y. 2 times 16 is 32. Equals 113. So you can say 18y is equal to 113 minus 32. Okay, so you can, you can then calculate this. Wait a bit. You've got 113 minus 32, okay, which is 81 divided by 18. Which gives you 4.5. Okay, so you've got 18y equals 81. So y is equal to 81 divided by 18 which was 4.5, okay? And then finally, it says calculate Amira's average speed in kilometers per hour for the whole walk. Now, the average speed, the average speed, okay, the average speed is equal to the total distance traveled, the total distance traveled, divided by the total time taken. Okay. Now the total distance traveled is, if we go back up to the top, the total distance traveled is x three y plus two plus y plus four. Okay. Three y plus two plus y plus four. We have the total distance is three y plus two plus y plus four. Okay. The first part of the journey was three y plus 2, and the second part of the journey was y plus 4, and the total time that she took, okay, was um, 9y plus 16 over 6, okay, 9y plus 16 over 6, so the total time, okay, total time was 9y plus was it? 9y plus 16 divided by 6. Okay, so now we know what the value of y is. We just found it in the previous question. So, what we can do is, I'll just, I'll work them out separately. Okay, so this is going to be 9 times 4.5 plus 16 over 6. Okay, so we have 9 times 4.5 multiplied by 16 plus 16 
multiplied by 9 plus oops, multiplied by 9 plus 16 and then divided by 6 that gives us oh we, they, we actually knew that as well okay, it was 113 over 12 wasn't it okay, so that's 113 over 12 113 over 12 Okay, and the total distance travelled is going to give you is going to be given by four y, four y plus six, okay, which is going to be four times four point five plus six, okay, so that's going to be sixteen eighteen plus six. Let's make sure you have four times. 4.5 plus 6, that gives you 24, okay, so we know that this is 24, so the total distance traveled, the total distance traveled, okay, the total distance traveled was 24 meters, okay, that's 24 kilometers. Okay, so now we can see that the total distance over the total time is uh, the total distance was 24 and the total time was 113 over 12. Okay, so it's 24 times 12 divided by 113. That will be the total, that will be the average speed. Okay, so you have 24 times 12 divided by 130, okay, which gives you 2.5 uh, five kilometers per hour, 2.55 kilometers per hour, that's for her walk, okay, okay, Program.